Hello and welcome back. Uh, uh, we will solve this math uh, here. And uh, for this, I have already prepared my specimen of general journal or table for general journal. And here it is. Uh, okay, so let's start. One, uh, Mr. Maruf uh, started his business with cash, taka 30,000, bank balance, taka 20,000, and machinery, taka 50,000. So we uh, learned uh, in our uh, earlier uh, video lesson that uh, all the assets that uh, are uh, brought by the owner collectively form the capital of that business. So uh, first we uh, need to identify how many uh, assets are uh, brought uh, by the owner. So uh, here uh, the owner Mr. Maruf uh, brought uh, cash bank balance and machinery to start uh, his uh, new business okay so uh, let's uh, write these assets uh, or list this asset in to uh, our table so uh, number one and uh, cash account cash account so let Align is to left. Okay, cash account, uh, debit, then furniture account. Sorry, bank balance account. Bank balance. Bank balance. Bank balance. Account. Debit. Can shift this David. Okay. Okay. And machinery. Machinery account. Debit. All the asset must be debited. And we know all these assets uh, combinedly or collectively form the capital of the business. So uh, now we will write. Uh, capital account here so write capital account and uh, it, this must be credited so credit and uh, okay so uh, put the value here cash 30,000 so 30,000 bank balance uh, bank balance uh, 20 uh, 20,000 okay 20,000 okay and uh, machinery 50,000 so capital the sum them up sum all these three to find the capital so one luck okay put a comma okay nice all right so um, we uh, need to write a short explanation uh, I am uh, I will write here now the uh, short explanation for this transaction so uh, we can write uh, for cash uh, bank balance balance and machinery uh, machinery brought in as capital okay so here is my short explanation okay uh, then number two okay read the question goods purchased on cash taka 10,000 so uh, uh, goods are purchased on cash so one account uh, will be purchase account and the other uh, will be cash account because uh, payment are made uh, through cash so right here purchase account purchase account debit and cash account uh, cash account credit right okay so put the value 
ten thousand, ten thousand, debit, ten thousand, credit. Right. Here is my explanation. Goods purchased by cash. Just write it. a short explanation. By cash. Okay. Number three. Ah, uh, number three. Goods sold to Mr. Rahman. Taka twenty-five thousand. Okay. So one account uh, will be a sale account because of uh, selling goods. And uh, since um, the buyer of the goods, uh, Mr. Rahman, is mentioned here, so we need to uh, consider this. Uh, we need to consider this uh, transaction as, as a uh, credit transaction. So we uh, have to uh, use uh, the term uh, debtors because we know uh, debtors account uh, is uh, related to uh, sales account. when uh, transactions are uh, made on credit okay so debtors debtors uh, we here need to put the name uh, mr rahman mr rahman account debit debit and sales account credit right right because this is a credit transaction so we need to write the debtor's account and the sales account goods sold to mr rahman so debtor's mr rahman account debit sales account credit right so write the amount uh 25000 so 25000 debit and 25000 credit right so goods sold on credit to mr Rah uh, rahman that's it okay then number 4 all right return outward taka 1500 that means uh you uh, purchased uh goods on credit earlier and now you return uh those goods to your uh seller or supplier so return outward actually uh the account are uh, called um, uh, purchase return return outward actually indicates the uh, account uh, or uh, term uh, purchase return so we know purchase uh, return is a contra account or an uh, opposite account of purchase so since purchase uh, is always debit we uh, have to uh, write purchase return as credit because purchase return is an opposite uh, account of purchase and the other account must be uh, creditors since uh, on credit accounts always uh, uh, derives uh, with uh, credit accounts creditors account sorry creditors accounts so uh, we need to write creditors creditors account debit because you uh, returned the goods so it will uh, definitely reduce the creditors uh, because you don't have to uh, pay the amount uh, uh, any more for that those goods Okay, so creditors account debit and purchase return, purchase, purchase returns, returns, purchase returns, credit. Okay, so uh, purchase goods returned to. uh creditors or suppliers done okay let's move on to 5 number 5 purchase goods from tarek traders by check owed taka 15000 here both uh the name of the uh supplier uh because uh, i uh, purchased goods from mr tarek so mr tarek is my 
supplier or seller so tarek and uh, the medium of payment that is check uh, both are mentioned here uh, and we know from our uh, uh, rules that uh, when both the seller or buyer's name and check cash uh, etc uh, mentioned uh, together we need to consider the uh, term cash check or uh, other uh, uh, word, uh, wordings uh, that is uh, mentioned or that are mentioned uh, in the transaction so we have to uh, consider this transaction as a uh, uh, as a check made uh, payment made uh, through check so we cannot um, consider this uh, as a credit transaction because uh, the word check is mentioned here okay so uh, we know also that when a payment is made uh, through uh, check we have to uh, credit a bank account we have to credit bank account and uh, since we purchase goods so the other account must be purchase account so purchase purchase account debit and bank account credit since we made the payment through check so we have to uh, credit the bank account because money will be deducted from our bank account okay okay so this is uh, 15,000 debit and 15,000 credit right right okay so our explanation here uh, purchased goods by check so you see check Okay, done. Okay, uh, so uh, number five done. Now move on to number six. All right. Okay, so uh, uh, number six sold goods to Shafiq Enterprise for Taga 30,000 and 50 percent received on cash. Uh, uh, listen uh, this uh, uh, very carefully because uh, this transaction is a complex uh, transaction a uh, bit di difficult uh, than rest of the transactions uh, here uh, so uh, goods are sold to uh, Shafiq enterprise so uh, name is mentioned of the uh, buyer and uh, there are an, an additional uh, information that 50% received on cash that means uh, rest 50% uh, made on credit rest 50% sales made on credit so there is this is a complex uh, transaction uh, uh, so uh, the solve is uh, right the uh, because we got a 50% cash so cash account debit cash account uh, debit okay cash account debit and 50 percent on credit so we know for uh, selling goods on account we need to uh, write uh, debtors account debit we need to write debtors account debit so debtors account debit but name must be changed because this time is a Shafiq enterprise so Shafiq Shafiq enterprise enterprise okay account debit done and sales account because sales account is a record revenue account so sales account credit okay have we understood how this uh, transaction is generalized okay so uh, this uh, journal entries are recorded uh, based on this uh, transaction and uh, here is the issue that and here is an issue that uh, after uh, selling goods 50% received on cash and 50% rest on a uh, credit for future payment so you uh, need to consider 50% as a cash account and rest 50% on credit transaction so we write here cash account debit 
debtors Shafiq Enterprise, the buyer of the goods, account debit, and our revenue account, sales account, credit. Okay, so here we write to uh, we need to write here we need to write 50% uh, of 30,000. So this is 50, 15,000, and uh, and debtors account must be 50% uh, of 30,000. So this is also 15,000, and both uh, will uh, make uh, make the amount of credit uh, uh, amount the credit side. So credit uh, sales account must be uh, uh, thirty thousand because uh, debit debit plus equals to debit and debit uh, must be plus and uh, is it will uh, create the amount for credit. Okay. So number seven. Number seven. Let's read the question. Paid check to Mr. Arafat worth tag of five thousand. So this time payment is uh, made uh, through check so we know from our uh, rules that uh, when a payment is made through check bank account must be credited bank account must be credited bank account must be credited so uh, and uh, we paid uh, paid the check to mr arafat so uh, Araf mr arafat must be our uh, our creditors otherwise we uh, uh, we didn't uh, pay him the check okay so when you uh, pay any check to uh, anyone so you consider you have to consider that particular person or business that they, uh, they it was your it was your uh, creditors okay <clears throat> so uh, right here creditors account creditors account debit and uh, and write uh, uh, bank account bank account credit credit okay so right here uh, 5000 and 5000 here so 5000 debit 5000 credit so uh, explanation here Just write paid check to creditors. Creditors. Okay. Done. Now we uh, need to uh, uh, put uh, underline. Uh, put an underline because uh, we have to separate uh, each transactions, uh, each transaction from others. Uh, so to uh, separate them done okay now you can uh, see all the transactions are uh, looking separate from each other. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So we have to sum them up. Otherwise, it will not be completed. So sum them all. One log eighty six thousand five hundred and some this also. So that so you can uh, see here both the amount are equal. So we are confirmed that our math is mistake proof. That means absolutely correct. Okay okay so put a double bracket here double underline here so double underline here done we are all set so this is the solve of uh, these transactions uh, i think you uh, have understood all the uh, journal uh, made here 
and if you uh, have any uh, confusion then uh, let me know uh, in our comment section so that I can reply you uh, those and you can have your answer okay so uh, that's all from today's uh, lecture we will meet soon in another video okay thank you goodbye